What's up you guys? Avery here. I wanted to bring you guys a quick video today because I know I've been kind of slacking on the uploads. My school schedule and work schedule has been crazy uh, and for whatever reason I'm exhausted. I guess it was because I had to work till 11 last night. But enough with that. Let's go ahead and jump into this discussion here because this literally occurred to me a couple days ago and it really got me thinking. Um, we have so many cards in uh, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like I think it's like over 10,000 cards now. And I want to ask you guys the question. We have seen cards that have been on the ban list, such as Brain Control, get an errata and come back to whether it be one, two, three, whatever the case is. We've also seen cards like Necro Valley that have never really been hit on the ban list have, you know, I think Necro Valley has like seven different erratas according to the wiki. So my question to you guys is, could we see more cards, whether it be, you know, once we get Code of the Duelist or Link Summoning or just at some point down uh, the line in the future of this game, could we see more cards that are still legal in Yu-Gi-Oh! that aren't necessarily on the ban list get more erratas, whether it be to make them better or to just make a couple of changes, whatever the case may be. And... The reason why I have Crystal Beast cards here is because they're one of those decks that a lot of people really enjoy because it was in the GX anime. Um, it was a deck that a lot of people gravitated towards because it was one of the main heroes decks and also because of the fact that they were always an interesting archetype where instead of them being destroyed and sent to the graveyard, they went to your spell and trap zone as, uh, as instead. And then they also, of course have uh, Ancient City Rainbow Ruins, which is, of course, like, really busted. They have uh, Rainbow Dragon, if I could find it here, um, which is, like, an insane, really good boss monster at 4,000 attack. Its stats are good, but the problem is that its effect isn't all that good. Uh, just to quickly read you guys the effect, you have to have seven Crystal Beast cards of different names on your field or in your graveyard, um, and then he, he cannot activate his effects the turn that he special summons. So already he's useless on the turn that he summoned. But during either player's turn, you can send all Crystal Beast monsters you control to the graveyard. He gains a thousand attack reach cards sent. And you can banish all Crystal Beast monsters in your graveyard to shuffle all cards on the field into the decks. So, could we pot potentially see an errata for more cards that are legal in the game to, you know, possibly make them better or even make an archetype better? You know, again, I'm just using Crystal Beast as an example. This could apply to, you know, any meta or any set of cards in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, for Rainbow Dragon, as an example, you know, they could errata it to make it, you know, say that you can activate the effects the turn that it is special summon and it's not you know limited to once per turn or make its summoning condition easier you know whatever the case may be because we don't know when we're getting you know crystal defender and crystal vanguard which at this point seems pretty useless considering how the meta is going um you know you look at other archetypes such as um I don't know, Grave Keepers, maybe, you know, since they haven't really been doing a lot, maybe Konami does uh, an errata on Grave Keeper Spy, which I doubt that they would do that because it's already a decent enough card, but you get what I mean. You know, a lot of decks throughout the years of Yu-Gi-Oh! have fallen out of favor, whether it be because they're too slow or because their effects just can't keep up with today's meta and today's standards. So could Konami just sort of come out one day and say, you know, we're doing an errata on these cards that are currently banned, going to bring them back on the ban list, and we're also going to make these cards better that are currently not on the ban list by giving them erratas to make their effects better and up to today's standards, so to speak. So let me know what you guys think. Just want to make a little short video for you guys. Um, you know, just let me know in the comments, is there a deck that you guys would like to see get hit with good erratas? I'm not talking about garbage erratas like on Brain Control. Um... But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. As always, I gotta go finish getting ready for work and subscribe if you have not already.